So I think the concept is, you know, we want to be um, the community's leader. We want to be a cultural resource in our community. So we are playing first-run independent films, the kind of films that people have had to drive to Tulsa or to Dallas to see. It's going to be here for them seven days a week. Um, we also want to be uh, very community-focused. We want to have conversations, discussions after the film. So we'll have Q&As with filmmakers. We'll have Skypes with filmmakers. We have a wonderful lobby where we can have events um, and do, you know, certainly want to have a certain percentage of our movies be free and open to the public and to the community. So we really just want to expose people to independent film and promote the community consciousness through film. I think that this concept, a seven day a week um, art house independent movie theater is actually long overdue in Oklahoma City. You know, we've, we have a large city and we have great independent film happening with Death Center, the local theater at the Museum of Art. Um, so it's happening, but I think what we've been missing is the opportunity for these films that kind of skip over Oklahoma City just because they don't have a theater to play in are now able to come here and so people again don't have to leave the city to, to experience these type of films. The, having this beautiful historic building. So this building was built in 1924 and it was built as a silent movie theater. So all that art and film and lovely history is already here but then if you look at this district I mean it feels untouched since you know 1910 and so um, there is there are great um, people around here there's a great atmosphere that's happening I think a lot of people who haven't been to the Stockyard in a long time are really really surprised when they come back to the Stockyard city and see all the new businesses and all the new places to visit so it's really nice to be a part of a community because I think that we're a community focused theater so to be a part of a community and also a part of a community that really is expanding like we are just an extension in my mind of you know downtown Oklahoma City and all the things and how it's coming south of the river so um, it's, it's a really good place to be and we're really fortunate to have found this space. So the Rodeo Opry performs here every Saturday night from 7 to 9 um, and they use the stage for that and so we uh, have films showing that morning afternoon and then after the opera. So there's literally something happening in this building seven days a week morning through night. Rodeo Cinema, our biggest future plans um, are that we are building two additional screens. So half a block away will be screens two and three, and those will open in around a year. And that's fantastic because what it does is it gives us the opportunity to show more films. I think the biggest hurdle we're going to face in this first year is that we have so many films that we want to be able to play, we just don't have the time on this single screen to do it. So once screens two and three open, we'll have more films available, more experiences to offer people. Um, and then also in a year we're going to get an organ, which I adore because this theater was actually built as a silent film theater in 1924. And so to have an organ that's currently living in Tulsa that will come here, um, we'll be able to do silent films, we'll be able to do music before and after events, and so I think it really brings this space kind of full circle in terms of how it was created in the first place.